be hopefully for a good one. Two good chances. All the best. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. Shane Gray then hoping for the best with Q20 boy. He's the four to one favourite. Karate's fives for Anthony Britton and the team. Another consistent horse who doesn't really find winning that easy. 17 is the length of his losing run currently. I thought Captain Ryan could go well if he can replicate his second behind Hard Solution, who came out and won again uh, since uh, Ripon. He's only a couple of pounds higher, Captain Ryan, and he's got a good record, not just at this track, but on the all-weather generally. Three from 16 is pretty decent for, for a horse down at this level. He's at the veteran stage now, he's nine, but if he can replicate that recent run, I think he could be just a little bit of value here in a wide-open contest. Let's find out how it unfolds with Tim. They're off racing for the follow at the races on Twitter Handicap, this time over the minimum trip of five furlongs. Great start by the gravy train. The grey has burst into the lead here from George Thomas, who's prominent. Mia Ella with the noseband out wide. Red and white hoop sleeve coming to challenge for the lead. Swell Song is out wide of a Josie Gordon. The black sleeves of Empty Promises. TP Time is up on the rail alongside of 117 in the red and black colours. Then comes Captain Ryan Karat and the yellow cap is out wider. Q20 boys got lots to do. Only one behind. Right camped up on the rail with Mansfield last of all as they race it towards the final two furlongs. They've gone very hard the front pair. The gravy train now being overtaken by Mia Ella and Joey Haynes. Mia Ella's gone a length clear. The front pair are six lengths clear of the others, being headed by George Thomas. Then comes Empty Promises, Swell Song, looking for rumours, 117. Q20 Boy making some headway as they race well inside the final furlong. Can Mia Ella last out? Still three lengths clear from the gravy train in second. Q20 Boy in third, but Mia Ella is clear, and Mia Ella has won by a couple of lengths. Q20 Boy was nearest finish in second, then came the gravy train. Mansfield finished late, but too late, as did Captain Ryan around the outside. Mia Ella, enterprising tactics there for Joey Haynes and Chelsea Bannum, 11 to one the winner. And a mare who's been reinvented as a sprinter, having raced over a mile and over seven furlongs in more recent times. Um, she'd shown that she's got a, a, a little bit of dash about her and I think Joey was always fairly confident he could make plenty of use of her, knowing that she stayed much further. She got a lovely toe into the race, courtesy of the gravy train, and between them they gave the field the slip and they were well clear at the turn. You knew at this point that she'd keep up the gallop, Mia Ella, and all the rest of them in behind were caught flat-footed by these tactics. Mia Ella, this five-year-old daughter of Captain Gerard, 